I am Amy Smith, the General Shepherd Homesteaders. I wanted to show you what I do here. I make soap and other bath products. I have a whole bunch of fragrance oils and essential oils. Um, so let me show you some stuff here. My super washing soda and borax are for making laundry soap. And uh, let me see here. I'm going to move into the other room here. Hang on. And one thing that's very popular are the bath bubbles. And um, they make they make more bubbles in the bath than like a regular bath bomb, so they're kind of nice. And we have hair conditioner and um, sh conditioner conditioning shampoo. Um, I put together a shaving kit that includes a shaving bowl, brush, and and a homemade handmade shaving soap that I made. Um, there's my laundry soap and liquid laundry soap. Ooh, that one's kind of gross. Um, we'll probably use that for us. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have lotion and sunblock. And here's some of my, <clears throat> excuse me, some of my soaps. This so with goat milk. That's pretty old to label. It's kind of nasty, but um, my mom helped sew these. This is a soap saver bag. Your little soap just goes right inside here inside and gets tucked in and you can use it in the shower those are really nice to have um, these soaps are made with charcoal that's why they have that black color and there's soap with coffee grounds these are just a regular soap I have with kind of a, a fall scent and some lip balms various fragrances this is soap with calendula it's in the soap, and it's also put, I put it on, on top of it. Uh, most of my soaps are about $5 a piece. Um, another very popular one I have is soap with tea tree oil in it. And there's some of the old shaving bars soaps. And I also have made well, vanilla extract and it's gonna fall down. And some mint extract. And let's see, I showed you that. Oh, another really popular one I have is shampoo and conditioning bars. These are um, these are for like um, dry hair, really good for dry hair. And I always, I almost always use the um, lavender. Um, it's a fragrance oil, essential oil blend in those. And so I usually make them pink because that's what people how people recognize them. This is a, another shampoo bar. It's more like for if you have oily hair, but they're really good too. I really like those myself. And soap with goat milk and oats. It's good soap. This is a regular goat milk soap that doesn't have any um, fragrance, I don't believe. I showed you these. These have cotton candy fragrance in there. And I made a really cute um, color on there. There's some really cute ones I made with like vampire teeth and other teeth and pumpkins. And here's, it did not come out very well, unfortunately, but um, it's supposed to be like a skull and crossbones, but once you use it, it would probably come out. And there's, these are really cute ones. These came out better, the skull and crossbones for Halloween. These ghosts are all 100% um, lard. And these black ones are uh, uh, mountain pour soap. And the little squishy little... Um, skeletons in there are really cute. And these have um, the loofah in there. These are made of the 100% lard, but I did add a fragrance to those, and they smell really good. I love these really cute flower um, molds I can use. And um, tombstones for Halloween. Uh, some of these in front here are melt and pour, and these, like that black one back there, those are cold processed soap. Um, these little bunnies for Easter are um, melt and pour. Then there's a, a random one with a mixed soap with carrots. That's another popular one. That's uh, that's one of the old ones, though. But there's some other stuff here. Uh, look at those. Oh, there's kind of a random shape. Oh, 
salt mix it down here. And soap is salt. That's another good one. It smells really, really good. And they're very, very uh, mixed full eating, scratchy. Here's a new one. It's the coffee soap. Has used coffee grounds, coffee bean fragrance oil, and I even used um, brewed coffee. So the coffee, coffee, coffee. And some more fun stuff down here. With the Lego in beds. That's just made from soap. And a uh, little Lego men or Legos. Are really cute. Yeah, it's hard for me to bend over. Okay. This is usually how the carrot soap looks. But you can see how they fade. The color really fades. Eventually they just turn they just turn all white. But at first when I make them, they're really orange. These in front have really faded because the sun comes in that window up there. And the newer soap with calendula. And um, this is soap with uh, green apple fragrance. And then more some dinosaurs. And the brown ones, um, I think it was like a sandalwood patchouli fragrance. And then there's more of the coffee soaps. And then some more of these are, I tried to do like an ocean theme. And um, so it kind of looked like the layers of the ocean. And then I put little cute little embeds on top of little ocean animals. So they're really cute. And then I also do that duckies in soap. Some of these in front are the melt and pour, but these in the bags are all cold processed soap with a ducky in it. And some more embeds. So I did Star Wars and really cute stuff like that. And I have so many molds. Let me go back to my mold room and show you what I got here. Okay, hang on. I've forgotten to show you in here. Um, I have lots of, I got like a gazillion jugs for making laundry soap. And uh, I only make them kind of on the fly because they tend to, um, I... They tend to break out of the plastic and they don't do very well. These are all I use. I use these jars for uh, making bug spray. That's a big seller in the summer, along with sunblock, really good sellers. Yeah, let me head back here to my mold room. We raise ducks as well and sell duck eggs, so we had some baby ducks in here. And I'll show you my molds here. All kinds of adorable molds. Cute little dinosaurs. Those are small flowers. Those are itty bitty little hearts. You can see how small they are compared to my fingers. And oh, that's gross. Um, and itty bitty bitty hearts. The loaf molds. I can cut the soaps. Um, I made when I made some out some the um, the coffee soap. I put some in the owl molds, and they're really cute too. Houses even. All kinds of Christmas molds. I try to keep them grouped together here. It's just kind of a mess in here, but that's the one I use for my carrot soap. And another cute one I got. Christmassy thing. And snowflakes. And flowers. And that's a really cute one I got. I don't know where it went. Uh, a new one I got. Oh, I think it's in the other room. It is. I'll go out there and show you later. So I have some plastic molds. They're really hard to do a cool process. That's really better for um, melt and pour soap. Because um, you can pop them out if you put them in the freezer for a minute. And I'm not even use these before. We like the ducks because, you know, we love ducks and raise ducks. So I got all these cute little numbers and anything silicone my husband loves to get me. So, but... Those are, those are really cute flower molds and like little gift boxes. And there's the, um, what do you call them? Star Wars molds and stuff like that. I have a little big Pokemon too. There's a spider web in there. That's fun. <laughs> Easter eggs. And um, doggy paws and bones. I can make, I do have a dog shampoo bar I make. As well, I didn't see any of that out, but it was really cute with a honeycomb and a bee in it. And that's another, it's a kitty with a fish in its tummy. Really, really cute stuff. 
and um, let's see. I'm gonna find for you something I was looking for. Don't remember. Uh, let's see here. Oh, something. Get what I'm looking for. There's the. There's a bug spray. I do apple cider vinegar in it, so that gives it the dark color. That needs to be mixed up. And uh, it has lots of essential oils in it. Um, does not contain DEET. DEET can cause, has cancer causing qualities into it. So it's, um, since people like to use it, do it all natural, then that's a good thing to use. Uh, oh, I said dog shampoo bars. That's what I said. I was trying to find those. I have lots of duckies. Really cute. Not allowed to sell us, so we keep those hidden. But, um, I put them in soap and that's fine, of course, but not sell them individually because I don't make them myself. So, uh, I did not find any doggy soap, doggy, sham doggy shampoo soaps. I know I have some somewhere, but they have a little doggy paw print on them and they're really cute. So, anyway, um, that's it for now. Maybe I'll make another video of me actually making some soap and have to have someone hold the camera for me or something. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate it.